cooking on the fire. That's the easy part. This is getting on the horse my first time now. This is literally the first time like in a very long time being completely off the grid. I mean, we're all coming from different walks of life. Keep it together. Chris, a surfer. Me, a pit master. All right. Because we're coming from different places, we were able to step outside of our boundaries. And this being like literally like my first hunt, there's a lot of things that are similar to what we do in barbecue, where there's a level of patience. Sometimes you wait a whole lifetime for that moment, for that for that thing, and and if one thing's out of place, you miss that opportunity. So when everything comes together, it's magic. And I think it's a win-win-win if you can steward the land, you can go out and experience the harvest, and then you can bring that to the table. Yesterday and even today, fucking pain. I was like, I'm not gonna say anything. Like grab your rifle. Mm -hmm. Always have your scope turned down to lowest power because if something's gonna happen quick, it's gonna happen close. Mm -hmm. You know, cooking and doing barbecue, you know, it's more than just the, the meat and season. I mean, it's the technique, it's the instinct, the feel. Yeah. And I can imagine like being out here, you know, there's certain steps you just can't just skip. You know what I mean? Yeah. How you zip your sleeping bag up to right. where your stirrups are, to what bullets are in your rifle, and mm -hmm. how many of them are. Yeah. Never went hunting before. You know what I mean? It's the kind of stuff I would, you know, would like to have done like with my grandfather and my father and whatnot. And it's like, here it is. Usually when I get a, a hog in at the restaurant, and they've already been butterflied. And, but to come out here and actually hunt, get this pig off the land, that this particular one was just running around, you know? It's a different perspective, you know? There's a disconnection with how we shop with food in the grocery store, right? But to be able to come out here and hunt that hog and then prepare the hog and be amongst friends and family, you know, it, it makes me appreciate it, that life even more. This trip is reminiscent of the first fire I lit in my grandmother's backyard. The second I lit that fire and the smoke began to come out of the smokestack, the wood begins to pop. It did something to me. Nothing around me mattered. Whenever I would cook these simple dishes, I felt like I just did the greatest thing in the world. Cooking and passion for food is in your heart. The love of what you do is in your heart. The love of craft is in your heart. take that hog's life and then prepare it for friends. It's a, it's an honor, actually.